So the first global stock take really does give us a good opportunity to assess where we are in terms of our response to climate change and set a path forward. Clearly, with the results that are being reported, we can see we're, we're making small progress, but really not fast enough. And we, we know that um, in order to achieve the goals of the Paris Agreement and to get to 1.5, we've got to achieve about a 50% reduction in our carbon footprint um, by 2030, by the end of this decade. But there are things that we can do using technologies that are ready to deploy now that will get us moving faster. It's great to see the commitment to triple the amount of renewable energy. That's a very positive development. And also the uh, announcements that have been made about addressing methane emissions. And one of the things that we like to emphasize at Honeywell is that there are technologies already proven ready now that actually can address climate change and give a payback. And methane emissions are a great example because you can not only um, reduce the impact on the climate, but because by saving methane, you're actually able to use it as a fuel, you can sell it. So that's one of the best options for, uh, for addressing climate change. Honeywell's an automation company and um, we work across a whole range of industrial sectors, so aviation, buildings, industrial plants. Our technology touches many, many other companies. And so we see a lot of opportunities for deploying technology to accelerate the energy transition, um, particularly in things like renewable power, for example. Uh, when you bring more renewables into the mix, you need to have better control, not only of the uh, electric grid, but also actually of the interaction between the supply of electricity and the consumption of electricity. And all of this calls for better control systems. So we're working with our customers around the world to implement better controls, better automation, make more use of the data that's collected by things like smart electricity meters to enable uh, the grid to plan and, uh, and operate effectively using higher amounts of renewable energy. Events like the Sustainable Innovation Forum really bring together a lot of different companies. And they're important for a number of reasons. First, because they give policymakers and um, environmental activists and so on more insights into what technologies are available, what solutions are ready to be deployed right now to address the climate crisis. But also, they're a good opportunity for different companies to see what other people are doing, to learn from each other, and to help uh, further more innovations that are going to make all of the technology that we need for the energy transition and climate change, lower cost and easier to implement.